Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is Maya Allen, and I am working on a new project for my racing rig. Uh, this project entails taking this uh, 2004, maybe 2005 Acura TSX driver seat with eight-way power functions and putting it into my racing rig in a way in which I can use the power seat functions. The four motors that are um, installed in the seat to give me full mobility. Now there's a lean back, a lean forward, scoot the seat forward, scoot the seat back, move the front of the seat up and the front of the seat down and the back of the seat up and the back of the seat down. That's your eight-way power function and I'm trying to get that to work. Now normally when it's installed in the car, the car is providing all of the power that it needs but I believe all of the logic is built into the circuit board on the bottom of the seat. So theoretically, were I able to uh, provide this um, logic, this controller, uh, the power that it needs, it should work independent from the vehicle. That's my working theory. Now, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the case because um, from the switches on the side, um, all of the signals from those switches come through this connector right here. This has um, 10 wires on it. It has eight colored wires, I would imagine, one for each switch, right? Because there's eight different power, uh, eight different switches. And it also has two black wires, which I imagine are ground wires. Uh, now, obviously, I'm not certain about that but that is what I'm speculating at this point in time. Now I've traced um, these eight uh, control wires from the switches and they all head into this connector which goes into this side of the board over here and it's kind of uh, on this end of the connection. Now, so those signals come into the board and are processed through this chip and then the chip sends a, a low voltage signal out to these relays and the relays uh, turn on and off the motors with a higher current voltage that's supplied through this connector. Now I know this because I've done the wire tracing on this end and there are uh, I believe 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so yeah 12 wires coming into this connection, connection here. There are two for each motor that I've traced to each motor and I've tested each motor. So I know for a fact that eight of these wires belong to the four motors, a positive and a negative for each. The other four wires, I speculate, are this brown and this white with blue. And over on this side, another brown, uh, another brown which is actually on the top right here, and this white red. Now those four, the two powers and the two grounds, or at least what I'm assuming are two powers and two grounds, are running to this connector here, which plugs into the vehicle. And I've located where those two powers and those two grounds are. So supplying 12 volts to those two powers and two grounds isn't enough. Obviously I still need to power up the chip, which I'm guessing is a low voltage input. So the other side of this here is this side of the connection on the board uh, and I've traced most of these connections over to this connector and so I know where most of those are going uh, but the question is is which one do I supply voltage to so if we look uh, a little bit more closely at this control board um, normally when you supply a chip power it goes first through a power supply which is usually associated with a MOSFET um, transistor like this one here uh, and a few capacitors so the supply voltage for the chip is coming in through this side and I'm guessing it's coming in um, as a 12 volt and then been being converted down to a lower voltage but again I have not confirmed that the problem really comes here guys um, I, I mean, I've figured all of this out so far, but I'm just a few steps away still from uh, decoding this bugger and making it work. Um, but I think the problem I've come on is I, I found the, um, the 
what do you call it, uh, the PDF from the manufacturer for these big relays, the G8ND-2S relays. Um, and it shows me where each of the pins are and it shows me the capabilities of it and everything, but it doesn't tell me which pins are associated to what. So I'm not 100% sure where the 12 volt and the ground go, but um, I've got a pretty good idea. On this side, however, um, I'm really at a loss because I can see which ones are supplying these capacitors here, um, but there's no uh, data paper for the Omron uh, chip that this board is running. It's a 3059922-0. And uh, I've searched for it online uh, quite a bit and I have been completely unsuccessful in finding any useful information. So um, that's kind of the struggle that I'm currently facing right now. Um, any advice would be uh, very welcome. Um, this is really challenging because, again, I don't have the data uh, that I need for this chip and I don't have a, a spare TSX sitting around that I can probe and figure out which lines are supplying me voltage. Um, what I do know is that they have to be coming in either through this plug, this plug, or this plug. So I'm pretty sure I found my two 12 volt high current um, uh, supply lines in this connection here which go over to this side like I was saying before um, but I haven't figured out which lines are supplying me the low voltage that goes in and powers this chip which is what I need to control the logic of the switches so if anybody has any suggestions uh, any helpful insight I would be most appreciative um, just a couple more things here. We can weed out this one. This is for the airbag, so I don't need to mess with this. Uh, this connection goes out to the seat belt. Uh, it's just a, um, uh, what do you call it, a sensor to tell the car whether or not the seat belt is buckled or not to give you the chime on the dash, which, is, which obviously I don't need. Uh, these connections here go to the seat heaters, which I don't care about. Um, I won't be using the seat heaters. Usually I'm too hot, uh, not too cold. Um, so we can leave all those out of the equation. It's just this guy here, which actually I probed these lines and I can't find anywhere where they're coming into the board. I have no idea where these two lines are going. Uh, maybe that's the on off for the seat heater. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really stumped on this one. Um, I tried hooking up five volts to it and it didn't seem to do dilly squat. So, um, I don't believe this one has any influence on the board because otherwise I'd be able to uh, test continuity between these wires and one of these connections on the board. Um, but I wasn't able to find anything yet. So I'm pretty sure everything that I need to connect is going to be in these two connectors. And again, I found my high current lines, I believe, two grounds and two powers over here, and I think I need to find a uh, low voltage, uh, I'm sorry, a low current um, 12 volt input and ground on this side to go in and run the, the logic on the board. Okay, so hopefully I've explained everything sufficiently. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, shoot them off. I'd be um, very grateful for any help at this point. Alright, thanks.